well, I have to rewrite. It's not that I love it. I, <laughs> I have to do it. Oh, the first draft is always is always hideous. Um, no, and you know, and in teaching, I think it's really important that you that you have your students do several drafts. I think that's it's all about that. It's all about cutting because the more you cut, the more you reveal. So. You said the first draft is hideous. Why? Oh, it's such a mess. It's so it's all over the place, and it has no symmetry and no balance, and it's overwritten and it's embarrassing and it's just disgusting. No, no. What we, about the experience of writing? Hideous too. Yeah, because you know how bad it is. You know that it's all over the place, and you want it to be. I mean, I'm. I'm sort of sick in this regard. My students ask, how do you begin? And I'm the kind of person that I can only go to the second scene after the first scene is perfect. So I'll spend a year on the first scene, going over it and over it and over it until it's just, you know, like a polished hope diamond, but which will take a year. And then I, and then I start the second scene. And, you know, oftentimes it takes six months to do the second scene. And I so envy the writers who sit down and can write a big sloppy draft. I always feel like my first scenes are horrible. No matter what I do, it's like, um, you know, Wittgenstein's ladder, like you have to climb up the ladder and then hoist it up in terms of language, like that the first scene is some horrible ladder that had to be written and that actually it's impervious to rewrites. I'll try to go back, but that's the way the play began. But I find that almost invariably my first scenes are very hard to stage and I'm not fond of almost any of them. So you do draft after draft? Yeah, I do. What I, I, I suppose I do one, I do a quick draft sometimes of the first act, and then I take a big break, and then I write the second act. But I might take a really long break before I know what the rest of the thing is. I mean, do you take breaks in between? No, no dogged. Okay, dogged. Dogged. So it takes me at least two years to write a play. How, for you, how long? About two years also, yeah. I mean, if you get stuck and don't feel like writing, will you take a break, or will you? No. No, if I'm stuck and don't feel like it, I beat myself. <laughs> no, take a break. I don't deserve a break. I've failed. I have failed and I have to keep failing. And I stay there and I make it worse and I keep at it. It's humiliating. 